In this video, we introduce the Course Design Matrix, or CDM for short. The CDM is a tool you can use to help you plan the instructional design of your course. You can download the CDM template at this link. You may find it helpful to have it handy as you watch this video. The purpose of the CDM is to establish the instructional design foundation of your course. Think of it as your course blueprint. Just as a quality structure begins with a blueprint, quality instruction likewise begins with a solid design. The CDM helps you ensure that you've achieved alignment between the various components of your course. Let's take a tour of the CDM template to become familiar with its sections. Remember to refer to the provided example as applicable. The first part of the template is course information. In this section, you'll type the information in each applicable field, such as course number, your name, etc. The next section is the course description. If your course already exists in your college or university's catalog, you can simply copy and paste the course description here. In Part 3, provide your course objectives. Learning objectives are covered in more detail in this channel, but for now, let's just say that these are statements which describe what your students will be able to do after they complete your course. The next section, Course Design, is where we get into the real meat of the CDM. You can see in the top row of this section of the template that we've provided example text to guide you in completing each section. In this column, you'll provide the students with an idea of what topic will be covered in each module or week of instruction. The module overview is a brief, about three to five sentences description of topics that will be covered in the module. Module learning objectives are just like course objectives, but at the module level instead. They're statements that describe a measurable, observable learning outcome, or, in other words, what the students will be able to do after they have completed this module. A teaching strategy describes how you will present content to students. Some examples include voiceover PowerPoints, animations, screen capture demos, sample problem walkthrough, etc. Learning activities give every student the opportunity to practice and master the learning objectives. Assessments, on the other hand, measure students' success in mastering objectives. They also help evaluate the design of the instruction. In this column, include the details of resources that are used for this module, such as links to videos, textbook chapter titles and numbers, journal article references, website URLs, etc. Down here we have a separate section for projects, since they often span two or more modules. That wraps up this tour of the CDM template in this video. Feel free to post questions or concerns in the comments section. Thanks for watching.